Hey guys, have we got something very cool to talk about today? Uh, I did an unboxing of this a couple of days ago with a bunch of other knives from my buddy Cliff out in Alaska. And I didn't know anything about this knife when I unboxed it. Again, he just sent me a quick list of, hey, I've got these things I'm going to send you. And I'm like, all right, cool. I, I, I rarely will say no, don't send me something. Um, if it's something I've done a ton of videos on, then I might say no, maybe, but generally speaking, I'm going to say, yeah, send me it because I want to see all the knives, right? So I said, sure, send it over. And when I opened up the box and was pulling this one out, because there was five or six knives in the box that he sent me, uh, this McNeese, I was like, okay. And, you know, I kind of thumbed it open and checked it out and put it back in the box, you know, kind of went through my spiel. And I was really messing with this yesterday a little bit more. And I have got to say, it looks like just a standard frame lock. But I think it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, so to speak. It is just fantastic. I, I don't know how else to say it, honestly. And the more I handled it and the more I fidget with it and whatnot, the more I like it. Like, it's impressive. It's simple, but elegant, and everything is done so well, so nicely well done. So this is from McNeese Custom Knives. This is the performance machined uh, version, the Mac 2 3.5 inch. Okay. Uh, so McNeese was started by the guy, Jonathan McNeese, uh, with an extension cord and a homemade grinder out in his uh, garage. <laughs> extension cord running over to the house. They had a little shop in the back or something. And... Now here he is, right? And it is a true family-run business. His wife handles all the books and does a lot of that stuff. And then they've got two adult children that also work there part-time doing stuff. So it's your no, truly kind of American dream, if you will. I don't know, kind of a cool story. So here's what it comes with. Well, it doesn't come with the coin. That's mine. That came from DNA Lasering. Uh, I'll put a link to his Instagram down in the uh, description. But it has a nice box. Here's the actual part number of this particular one. Uh, it comes with a metal card with all of the specs and stuff on it. It's brand new. I think this is one that Cliff picked up at Blade. I think. Most of what he sent me was uh, from Blade. Let me just put this off to the side because the light is kind of bouncing off of it and we'll focus in on the knife and let's just focus right in on the knife it's mild mannered in appearance standard just you know tumbled titanium frame satin finished blade but it's just done perfectly well a little bit of extra branding on the uh on the blade itself. That one, can we read that one there? Hand ground. McNeese PM on the back side, USA, 20 CV. It's kind of cool that he put the hand ground on there. Got a lanyard tube. This one, let's see if we can see it here with the light. This is prototype number four. Now they've had the three inch out for a while. I think the three and a half is new this year at Blade. It's just very well done. There's a lot of just attention to detail. There is some orange peel on the pivot. So it's not just plain. Also on this backside of the pivot. 
I really like, and again, this is kind of a, just a silly detail, but I like the contrast, is that the lock bar cutout is not all smoothed out. It's a little bit rough. And if you get your finger in there, you can feel that there's some texture in there. Uh, and it goes all the way to both sides. The whole cutout is that way. I don't know. It gives it a little bit of visual appeal to me. And I like that. There is no over travel stop and there is no lock bar insert. However, I don't think there, I don't see one. Nope, no lock bar insert. Okay. You don't need a lock bar insert on every knife. I mean, it's nice to have. This one has zero stick and it fires like an automatic. It really does. And it's hard to, to convey that through video but it's effortless. Now it is a little sensitive to, to lock bar pressure, you know, depending on how you hold it on the back side, the detent might be a little bit tougher, but you open this up three or four times and you've got it down pat. Okay. Ceramic detent, most likely ceramic bearings. It just says bearings, um, but I'm guessing they're ceramic bearings. I did not open it up. But super great action. I mean, it's just, it's a perfect size knife. This is a perfect everyday carry knife. It, it, it's, it's in a finish that you don't mind getting it scratched up. If it was super fancy, you might not carry it and use it as much. Uh, just all around, it's fantastic. Okay, but with everything in life, there's one issue for me personally, kind of two, but really it's the same. I don't love the shape and the aesthetics of the clip. And that's a personal thing. That's just me. Uh, and then when you're putting it in your pocket, for me anyway, the lock bar cutout hangs up a little bit. And I think it's because the lock bar cutout is so far back towards the attachment point of the clip. For some reason, it just starts to hang up. But you kind of shimmy the knife just a little bit and boom, and it goes. Again, you do it three or four times and you know exactly how to put it in and out of your pocket. So I don't know if it's because it's so far back because on a lot of the other knives that I have, the lock bar cutout is much farther away from the anchoring point of the clip that it just doesn't seem to be a problem. However, on the dire wear, it, it is pretty close to the anchor point, but there's just so much room in this clip that it's not an issue. So the clip is the one downside of this knife, maybe. I don't even think it's a downside. What I would love to see would be a, a 3D milled titanium clip. Now, granted, that's going to jack up the price. I get it. And these are, I don't even know what these are because there's a, these are not on his website. And I didn't ask Cliff how much he paid because I don't typically ask people how much they pay for knives because it's kind of rude. When you ask a woman, you know, how old she is or how much she weighs, it's kind of rude, right? So, yes, when we're out in public and I bring out a fancy custom knife, don't ask me how much it was because I'm not going to tell you. So you might as well just not ask, okay? But the three-inch version of these is just under 500, okay? Depending on finish and stuff like that, they're 580, 590, uh, things like that. Uh, 480, 490, just under 500, so I'm guessing this one's going to be a little over 500 because it's a little bit bigger. But this is so cool. So before I just ramble on too long, let's run through the specs super fast now that I've kind of rambled. Four and a quarter inches closed, seven and five eighths overall, 3.46 inch blade, 3.3 inch cutting edge, CPM 20 CV, as I said before. The blade thickness is 0.153. Overall thickness is 0.487. Runs on bearings. 
and it run it weighs in at 4.6 ounces. Okay. I am guessing that most of you know who McNeese is. There is a Spider Co. Mc, McB, I think is what it is, that he designed and collaborated with Spider Co. Um, so he's been around. He makes a couple different models. And if you go to their website, which I will put a link down below, uh, they've got all kinds of stuff. He's got Hanks. He's got replacement uh, clips, different colors, replacement backspacers for some of his other models. He does custom work. Uh you know, you can get like a rock pattern, rock texturing on this, which I think would be super cool. Um, but yeah, overall, the clip is a little bit of a ding for me. But other than that, this thing is just wicked awesome. I I'm just going to say, I, I can't really find much fault with it. And uh, Cliff, you nailed it with this one, man. Thank you so much for sending it in because it's something I didn't know anything about. And I love seeing things that I've never seen before. It's part of w one of the things I love about having this channel. But yeah, I I'm just honored to see this from Cliff number one, and it's just a great knife. So please go check out uh, the McNeese website and uh, he's on Instagram as well and stuff like that. So. Uh, let's do a couple size <laughs> comparisons just really quick. Almost forgot that part. Uh, we'll just blow through a few here. The the usual suspects so that you have an idea of the size of this thing. It's small, but but mighty. I mean, it's not even small. It's average, perfect EDC size. Um, the Hellraiser P-Series. <laughs> Just got that back from Alex over at the Knifebox channel. And so to use this for comparison earlier, the Bodega, uh, Big Knives Bodega. So this I would call a full size or a large knife. This is a perfect size knife. It really is. I mean, I tend to gravitate towards the bigger three and three quarter inch blades, but this is going to get the job done perfectly. It's not going to scare anybody in an office. It's not going to scare the little old lady at the grocery store. It's just, it's phenomenal. I, I just can't, I just really can't say enough good things about this because it's just that cool. So anybody that has a McNeese, please comment down below and tell me if I'm wrong. And this is not one of the greatest knives that you own because it absolutely is uh, in that, Average price range, that five six $600 range, absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching, everybody. This was a great one to show and tell uh, because it's something new and it's something that I'm really genuinely excited about. And I don't think I get super excited about every knife that comes through. So it's very, uh, very much a pleasure to check this one out. Have a great day, everyone. We will see you tomorrow.